Hi guys. Good morning. Venus here, and I'm sorry. Just, just give me one more minute. Just a couple more seconds. Okay, I think we're done. All right. So good morning. Here, Venus here, and I apologize for a little disruption at the beginning. I was uh, insulin. I needed this for today. Lantis. If you're a diabetic, you know, it's a the long lasting one. Even though I have the pump, there has been times where I use that Lantis for a couple of reasons. One, because sometimes the insulin pump doesn't want to work. I mean, it does. But not as... I mean, what the hell am I talking about? It does work. It's just sometimes... Even though it injects me the basal, uh, I feel like I need... The land is sometimes because it, it kind of, my blood sugars tend to go out of whack because you know diabetes tends to do its own thing even though you do what you need to do if you're a diabetic out there type 1 you know shit happens and diabetes does what it wants to do so, sometimes I feel like I need the help of the long-lasting of the lentis. But anyway, moving on. <sighs> I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in forever, like in ages. And I miss you guys. I just feel like I haven't had the time to sit down and talk to you. Like I would love to. And I miss that. <sighs> For one, I'm I'm school. I second semester, past semester, coming back to school has got me. Oh my goodness, all worked up. It shouldn't, but after ten plus long years returning to school, it's frustrating but exciting and I'm trying to figure out my way around and since this semester I'm um, I'm taking online classes it feels out of whack kind of because like I said before it's it's been a, a really long time since I've been in school and I feel like it's out of whack for me Especially for the online classes like a few lost in a way <laughs> with the online classes eh, so I'm trying to just figure out my way around which I'm not gonna lie I've been I have good I've been having been getting good grades lately especially on the te on the quizzes and exams there's a lot of studying a lot of reading I'm not gonna lie so there's a lot of that because you know for online classes you're responsible for your own learning and such so that's that and but it's, oh, it's crazy it's, it feels like it's been crazy for me at least lately with the uh, online classes I'm only taking two this semester, which one of them is a repeat class to get a better grade, which is Psychology 101, and the other one is Sociology 101. I feel like this semester I'm finding Sociology a little bit easier than Psychology for some reason, or a little bit more interesting, and they're both 101, but I don't know. I'm finding sociology, the class at least, a little bit more interesting. 
not that psychology isn't it, it really is it's just I don't, I don't know I don't know how to explain it it just feels a little bit easier or a little bit more interesting in a way I mean though the chapters for the psychology book are really really long I'm not gonna lie but it is what it is right so but anyway I just want to know how's everybody doing it's been a long long time since I've talked this I've sat down and talked to you guys so oh and my nephew was born at sometime last month on the middle of the month born a cup a few days earlier than expected which I'm excited oh my goodness he was born a tiny little thing oh my goodness I'm excited my nephew's finally here so I'm excited oh my goodness oh my goodness I honestly thought my nephew was gonna be an October baby but he ended up being a September baby but it's which is still fine I'm not complaining hey so my mom too she's really excited that she's a grandma now I mean at the beginning she was like oh crap I'm a grandma now what the heck she didn't what she wasn't expecting to be a grandma this quick or you know like nobody expects it like nobody when you're pregnant you're you're not expecting it you're like what the heck even when you're a non you're like what the heck am I not now what what or an uncle dad mom grandma grandpa whatever the case is you're like what already this quick this fast but my mom is really really happy really excited to have a baby to be a grandma to have a baby in the family already and it's like I wasn't expecting for my sister to have a baby this soon so I mean hey things happen so she wasn't expecting it either she was like really scared she was like what the hell am I gonna am I gonna do like I wasn't expecting this this is really scary so I mean which is understandable when you're a first-time mom your first pregnancy is scary I think I don't have children so I don't know so I'm only guessing that first-time pregnancies first-time parents is really scary I don't I can only imagine I don't know I can't speak from experience because I don't know I'm not a mom I mean unless you count Toby as my child then I guess yes <laughs> but other than that I I'm not really not of a human baby that's for sure of a fur baby yes just not a human one but anyway moving on a lot has been going on lately a lot just a lot <laughs> just trust me on this one a lot has been going on and yesterday it mind you this is not a sponsored video yesterday I had my first appointment with my better help therapist which I found really helpful really inside just really helpful because I've been uh, trying to look for a therapist that works for me and that lessons that is willing to listen to me and not cut me off mind you yesterday it was the first uh, appointment so I can say for sure for sure I need a couple more sessions but I felt like it was a good match for the first session which I'm happy and I feel like this time around is really gonna help hopefully because I found that in person 
the last in-person appointment wasn't really a match. Because to me, a therapist or a psychologist is supposed to sit in front of you and look at you with a notepad and a writing utensil, pen, pencil, whatever, and pay attention to you and look at you and give you the time of day. And that, that's for me, to me, what a therapist is. And the last in-person therapist, uh, he was, he was, I felt like he wasn't giving me the time of day. He was, or I think he was the therapist or the assessor of to what therapist to send me to. He was just looking at his computer. I mean, which it could have been that, um, that he was making his notes and clicking buttons, what, whatever the case is. But him looking at his computer, it just made me feel like he wasn't giving me the time of day. Like, I, like I didn't matter first. Second, like to me, paying attention to his, to his computer more than to me as a client made me feel like I wasn't going to be hurt, like he wasn't listening to me. And that made me not want to go back. And to me personally, I did not like that. Because like I mentioned before, a therapist or whoever it is, is supposed to sit in front of you with a freaking notepad and a writing utensil taking notes, giving you the time of day because that's what you're paying them for, to give you the time of day and for them to listen to you and, you know, taking notes on their notepad to see what the heck, you know, to who they're going to send you to, what is your issues and what you've been dealing to and such you know other such things so I just felt like that wasn't a good match and that made me feel uncomfortable not heard not being listened to and that just disappointed me and like I said that's what made me not want to go back and it took me a little while to oh, up until now to look for another therapist or therapy thing for a lot of my issues that I've dealt with that I've been dealing with that I don't know how to deal with on my own. I know I need help. We all do. So this time around, I, I was giving it a really good thought. I was thinking about it really, really hard about that. And like, I need the help. I really do. I'm not saying I'm this perfect, amazing person that that's um, that has no problems. I'm not perfect. I'm not, you know, this magical, perfect person, you know. Like, I'm not God. I'm not perfect. I'm not saying I don't have issues either, because I do we all do and the issues in emotional issues and emotional issues that I have that I've been dealing with I need help with to learn to know how to cope with them better than I have so I feel I've been for a long, long time, I think, oh gosh, I don't want to cry. 
Um, for a long time I've been I've been feeling angry. Emotionally unstable, just like a sense of not belonging still, if that makes any sense. I'm not trying to get too personal right here, but if you're struggling with anything, it's always good to find help. I mean, when when you feel like you really need the help, it, it's good to ask for help. It's always good to find a friend that is willing to listen, to find therapy to help you deal with uh, your emotions. And help you deal with traumas or emotional issues or coping mechanisms or addictions such as alcohol and drug or whatever it is it's always as good to ask for help to look for help it's good you're taking the step ahead and are willing to admit that you do need help and that and that's always a good thing that's good though many people may find it ridiculous or say oh you're you're this you're that you're stupid you're being dumb you're weak whatever the case is you're not you're taking care of yourself you're admitting that you need the help and you're being strong you're you're stepping you're step you're putting a step ahead for yourself to make yourself a better person the better person that you were yesterday to be a better person tomorrow and that's always good it's always good to admit admit that you need help when you know you need it so for whatever the case is that you need it for so I feel like you should if you believe and you know if you think you need help for whatever XYZ reason go ahead find your therapist friend or something or somebody that is gonna listen to you and help you deal with whatever XYZ thing you're going through trauma addictions or whatever the case is I feel like it's good that to ask for help and look for help if you really need it if you're struggling so I hope this time around with better help helps me in the ways that I feel like you that I think that I'm one that I wanted to help me with like past traumas and such so I'm not gonna speak about it or at least not at the top for the time being because I feel like that that that's very personal and it's I don't want it to trigger uh, certain aspects of my life I don't or at least not at, not at the moment so maybe in the future in the future video I will talk about it probably just not at the time being so but anyway so I just wanted to come and talk to you guys and let you guys know that everything's been going great with me lately like I said before I feel like it's been a long time that I've talked that I sat down and talked to you guys for any reason so and I wanted to check in with you guys too and wondered how you guys were feeling today and how were you guys doing in and happy October it were a spoopy season I mean, I'm not decorated in here, but I feel in the spirit 
I like I, I love spooky season so huh. it's wherever I will need the time to to decorate just not at the time being though but maybe probably in the next video you guys see you guys will see a little bit of Halloween spooky or probably not I don't know because you know I've been basically like, with school and laid on my rent I mean I pay part of my rent on time just not I'm paying the rest of my rent on the next pay on the and next week and I don't know what the hell I'm not gonna do because my my bank is overdrawn that's not good I don't like I'm I'm poor I'm like fucking poor I have no money no nothing with me like I'm I'm fucking poor like literally freaking poor my bank account is on the negative and that's not good like 300 plus over Tron and that's not good that is really not good I don't like this so I don't know what the heck am I gonna do like 300 plus over Tron on my bank account this is not good and on top of that I'm late on part of my rent which is which probably majority of my check is gonna pay for that money I'm overdrawn on the bank and just the leftover money will be to pay the rent probably and probably part of the insurance my insurance too at least I still haven't paid my insurance and I don't think I'm gonna have the money to pay my insurance and this is not good <sighs> but well <laughs> I have a lot of issues this month I, I do I have a lot of fucking issues I don't know what to do anymore so. but anyway enough of my issues so, I hope you guys have a wonderful spoopy October, spoopy season and October season. So, I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful day or night or evening, wherever you are in the world. Right now, it's in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's 10.30 in the morning. So, good morning and good evening or good night, wherever you are in the world. I hope you are having a great, lovely, wonderful day, evening or night, wherever you are in the world. So, and happy spoopy season. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.